mentally they got to stay with it, but physically, you know, we're over two hours on the floor. But, you know, we're getting a late start on this. And uh, uh, I thought they did a great job of picking things up. And uh, as coaches, we're getting a chance to identify some of our strengths and weaknesses already. What would you say some of your strengths are at this point? Uh, I think, you know, the, the guys who have played with this team in the past, because, you know, we have a defensive system that has been very solid uh, in the FIBA rankings. And um, the guys who have played and understood what we're looking for had, had a little bit of a step up. But I thought the, the new guys, uh, you know, picked up picked up well. I mean, even even our new guys, that you know, like uh, Dylan and, and Jamal Murray have played in our system before. And, you know, when we started four years ago, we started implementing the system through all of our programs. So it's easier for them to make the transition from the junior national team to the, to the senior team. Jay, a lot of the talk here, it almost has as much to do with who's not here mm -hmm. as who is here. Uh, are, you, are you guys still confident you can win the medal? You know, we don't know who's here from other teams. So that's going to be, you know, that's a big debate. I think everybody's going through the same type of thing that we are. We, you know, we have a bunch of players that are playing in the, in the Vegas Summer League, maybe a Summer League right now. We can't take away guys' opportunities to earn a living and find a job in the NBA. So we have to we have to give them that. And I think that you know that's why when we started you know four years ago we started with a pool of 30 players and we can draw on different players from that pool who are familiar with the system. While other guys chase dreams of maybe playing in the NBA or some guys are restricted because of their NBA teams not wanting to you know have us be too taxing with them uh, during the summer months when it's their down. For guys that may be on the bubble. A little bit in terms of FIBAs. Is this yeah. is this almost like an audition? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I would uh, I would say, and you know, we haven't communicated with the players yet, but I'm, you know, we will at some point. That you know, this this may be an addition for five or six of these players to see whether they can make the team to try to qualify for the Olympics later this summer. It's early in the process, but have you seen any of the guys kind of step up as leaders? Not really. I think as coaches today, we were the leaders just because there's so much new stuff. But, um, you know, we're, we're trying to let the point guards run the offense, and let them uh, and the big guys communicate defensively where we're supposed to be because they're back behind everything seen. So, you know, we talked about, you know, the success of this team is going to be, you know, not anybody getting a contract, not anybody winning a medal. We're either all doing it or none of us are doing it. And that's, uh, we got to play as a team. So, you know, I think right now, you know, they're, they're pretty 